Welcome, Eagles, to Trad Cat Night, your one-stop website for all of the day's latest church apostasy and end-time news. This is your number one ranked traditional Catholic outlet specializing in the real third secret of Fatima. Trad Cat Night is featured all over the alternative media circuit and has the most listened to and most influential podcast radio show available within the Catholic world. Trad Cat Night's guest list is second to none. Search Trad Cat Night across any major social media outlet for daily information and visit tradcatnight.org, the fastest growing end times community available in the market. So what's it going to be, Eagles? Fear or faith? Flight or fright? Join me as we head deep into the darkest night. Welcome, my good friends, to another edition of Trad Cat Night Breaking News right here on the Trad Cat Night dot org website folks it's been about three plus weeks since the last uh promo here on youtube perhaps the best three weeks ever at tradcatnight.org numerous numerous high profile guests on the program again i podcast monday through saturday doing both solo podcasts but then also bringing on some of the top names from the catholic world uh, and the secular world as we continue to break down this new world order end game 25 to 50 posts on a regular basis folks get over to trancatnight.org right now do not delay don't listen to the rumors and hearsay about trancat night i've had uh, quite a few even over the past few weeks who are new to trancat night who have indicated to me they wish that they never had listened to the propaganda that's out there uh, about me all of which i've addressed uh, again, Trancat Night is a highly unique website. The information that I present as we break down the New World Order, you're not going to find on the false right websites, whether it is LifeSite News, 1 Peter 5, The Remnant, and so on and so forth. Uh, and again, my articles and analysis are only seen there. There's numerous resource pages, the most popular one being the Three Days of Darkness page. I have a woman uh, who's right here in Ohio with me who's going to be distributing uh, Marie Julie Jenny Remedies. Uh, for free for at cost just shipping uh, as she is gathering them will be early springtime yet another reason to join the website so I have to do my best over the next uh, 15 minutes or so to help break down what's uh, been going on here uh, at track at night but just to give you a quick sneak sneak peek as to who we have on the program uh, this week I've got Monica Schaefer for those of you who are well aware of the powers that be we all know who we're talking about here. Uh, she, of course, was um, persecuted uh, in Germany for her viewpoints on those powers that be uh, and actually became a prisoner. She came on the podcast uh, last month for the first time. She joins the show tomorrow. I've got Jesse Romero on the program January 3rd, January 4th. Charlie Robinson from the Octopus of Global Control. And he's been all over uh, not only mainstream media, but alternative media. Uh, media websites. Then I have a podcast series with a Trad Cat Knight follower. She's a Catholic uh, lawyer from Latin America. Uh, her name is Carmen. She just wants her last name to remain anonymous. And we've been breaking down uh, very rare writings of St. Vincent Ferrier on the Antichrist, which are typically only found, uh, found in Spanish. And she has been breaking this down and the details on this podcast series from the past few months is truly eye-opening uh i would say out of uh, any of the special guests that i bring on she's in the top three as in terms of in recent times those who want to see uh, carmen back on the program she joins me on january 4th we're going to break down the antichrist more january 6th wayne jet on the program also catholic journalist ibn thranholm joins the program january 7th anti-5g uh, expert mark Steele joins the program. We also have Lynette Zhang, who is uh, one of the top economic uh, analysts out there. She's been seen all over the place. She's also a prepper. She understands the times that we live in. Also have on the program uh, Father Voigt. Daniel DiMartino, she's been seen on uh, Fox Business, uh, one of our top economic analysts. She's going to help break down all the latest economically speaking. Uh, then we've got uh, Bill Warner from Political Islam. Uh, Dr. Bill Warner going to be joining the program on the 8th. Uh, new guest, January 10th, Jake from Grand Solar Minimum, also constitutional attorney. Uh, Chris Ann Hall joins the program on the 10th, the 11th. We've got Father Kramer and 
Adam Green from No More News. Folks, going to be a very jam-packed uh, next few weeks, and I still have a few more people which I'm about to sign uh, as well. Now, in terms of what has been happening here at Tradcat Night, uh, as it relates to my latest articles, uh, I have covered uh, some of these headlines. St. Robert Bellarmine's alarming discourse on the underground church. There's oftentimes a misnomer in the pseudo-trad world which would have you uh, to believe that uh, the Catholic Church must remain virtually in every country and must be widely visible uh, at all times and in every place. This is not the case, and Bellarmine has one such quote that will make the hair stand up on the back of your head as it relates to Catholicity. Uh, and of course, Father Kramer has been doing a fantastic job of helping people understand why, why it is heretical to ascertain, to put forth uh, as a doctrine or a thesis that the church can quote unquote judge the Pope. 700 page book. He comes on to the podcast again. We'll have him on the 11th. Uh, another reason to get over to Tradcat Night for his exclusive podcast. But you're not going to want to miss that article. St. Robert Bellarmine's alarming discourse. Also, in recent times, you've seen how uh, Archbishop Ogano and Sochi have uh, come out and said what I've been saying for years. Again, most people get the timeline wrong. The Antichrist is about to show up. The triumph of the Immaculate and Sacred Hearts is a defeat of the Antichrist. And I covered this actually in two or three other articles uh, since then. This was dates back to the 20th. Uh, but it's, it's nothing new. Uh, I am... Uh, perhaps uh, the, the first uh, in recent times to continue along this thesis that the Antichrist uh, is indeed here. Uh, and uh, you're going to want to see and check out, listen to my podcast series that I have running on the biblical false prophet, who is not Francis, by the way. Um, and then also uh, the Antichrist who's coming. I've got a podcast series running on that. And one of the more eerie, uh, alarming uh, and at the same time, exciting headlines that we've been seeing online is a lot of these strange sounds that are being reported uh, recently uh, in two, two new uh, geographical areas. And uh, Jesus said in Luke 21, 36, Watch ye, therefore, praying at all times that you might be accounted worthy to escape all those things that are to come. So for those traditionalists out there who think this is just all mere talk, uh, and that, you know, Jesus th doesn't want us uh, to pay attention and not, you know, not to uh, constantly be viewing these things. Uh, he commands us in Luke 21, 36 to actually do the exact opposite. Watch ye, pay attention, and then pray at all times that you might be counted worthy. You know from Catholic prophecy, few Catholics are even going to get through this storm ahead. And we will be charged as eagles to help lead humanity through this great storm coming as we keep our eagle's wings spread in faith and hope with our eyes wide in charity. So much to the dismay of false Catholics of our times, no things aren't about to prove. There's no, you know, massive counter-revolution coming. Uh, and it's very unfortunate to see some of the false uh, trads uh, indicating otherwise. The Holy Seers of God have indicated these preliminary signs uh, to which we ought to be looking for uh, that would precede such a huge loss of life. And this is just one area, folks, that is just too sensitive for the false traditionalists of our times. They don't want to touch this area. Uh, and I've got the prophecies uh, from Blessed Canori, from Our, uh, Our Lady of La Salette, from Our Lord to Marie Julie Jehenny, uh, just as a starters as we break that down. But these, these latest eerie sounds, folks, I mean, I showed it to a few of my own family members. They didn't want to listen to more about 10 seconds of it. It's just uh, that alarming. I also have an article, St. John Eudes on the Church's Triumph and a Progression in God's Wrath. And I've just finished up Father Kramer's book this past week. And towards the end, Father Kramer reiterates what I've been saying for many years now, as well as he, that when we're talking about the triumph of the Immaculate Heart, uh, the Eucharistic reign uh, of uh, the Sacred Heart, this is a reference to a period after the defeat of the Antichrist and not before. Uh, and in his argument of the book, he uses a general reference to St. John Eudes, who was one of those saints who held the position that Father Kramer and I teach. Now, it took me some time to hunt down the specific quote uh, that he was referring to, which I actually found it literally took me well over an hour to find. But it indeed indicates what I have been saying for years that so many traditionalists uh, protest over. And you're going to want to check out that article. Just came out three or four days ago. In addition to this, these are all articles, by the way, folks. 
Uh, I put out an article uh, a few days ago. Marie, Julie, Jahenny, and Blessed Anna Emmerich uh, give us full support for the case of doubtful Novus Ordo sacraments. How many times have you heard from the false traditionalists of our times? The Novus Ordo sacraments are definitively valid. Unfortunately, you hear this uh, in the false resistant camp as well. This is not at all true. It is, it is of course, one of the most uh, debated subtopics, if you will, when it comes to traditionalists these days. And of course, we're talking about the validity of the Novus Ordo sacraments, state of a contest, hardline traditionalists such as myself and quasi-traditionalists all don't agree upon, but I paint even a further stronger case for why they are doubtful and based on church teaching, why we must avoid. And that article got a lot of emails uh, with uh, people now understanding what I've been saying now uh, for quite some time. My last two articles deal with the conspiracy at hand uh with the various sects which are undermining the catholic church but then i also talk about the seven critical areas of this apostasy and uh that one just went out uh, a few hours ago now in terms of special guests i've had on the program since uh the last time we've done one of these podcasts and i'm i'm really moving as fast as i can through this folks to try to get this done in about 15 minutes I had on Leo Zagami, we talked more about the UFO agenda, how it's hitting the mainstream. We talked more about Jesuit controversies. We talk environmentalism, uh, the imminent arrival of the Antichrist, secret symbology, and so much more. I also had on the program Monsignor Perez, and we, uh, of course, passed uh, just passed the feast day of Our Lady of Guadalupe. So we spent the whole podcast talking about Our Lady of Guadalupe and the Advent season how to forgive the unforgivable, finding joy in a dark, dark world. The conversion process, why you ought not be attending RCIA if you're just coming into tradition. Uh, We talked a little bit more about discernment. How do I know if I'm called to the religious life? We talked about the perplexity of Catholic dating in the modern times, mixed marriages, and so much more. Now, I've been very, very fortunate uh, over the years to have a lot of uh, my followers. Uh, and again, when you sign up to Tradcat Night, you have the ability to not only write articles for Tradcat Night yourself, you don't have to be some uh, published journalist or, or whatnot. Uh, I get those out on Sunday, but you can also join me for podcasts. And someone that I actually uh, went to school with his wife, uh, which is kind of interesting uh, how life works out. Uh, we call him Safe Haven Mike, and he is putting together uh, a homestead, a, a Catholic community, as you know, via Catholic prophecy. It's going to be these safe havens, which will survive the Great Tribulation coming. And uh, Mike has been doing a fantastic uh, job uh, with his research, with getting his community prepared, as I am trying to do uh, as well uh, out in my area. But the title of this episode was called The Bargain of Esau, and how we are being preconditioned for the mark of the beast. And he brings out some points, I'll be honest with you, that I had not pondered on in times past. Great job by Mike. This is one of the most important end time talks you are going to hear as a Catholic, whether you be whether you be a Catholic or if you uh, happen to be Protestant or whatnot, again, uh, you can sign up to tradcatnight.org. Uh, you don't have to be, you know, view everything as I see it. Many people just coming to the to the website just for uh, the podcast themselves. Uh, but unbelievable talk with Safe Haven Mike. We also brought on to the program on December the 21st, a Catholic author, Xavier Arau, who is the sidekick to Isabel Chizabor, who I'm hoping to get back on uh, at the end of the month. We've been breaking down Marie Julie Jehenny's prophecies. We specifically broke down how these traditionalist divisions are indeed a sign of God's justice, which is very, very close. If I'm not mistaken, that talk uh, was at least... Uh, an hour long. Great talk there. Dr. Peter Hernowski, this is what will probably highlight this promo for uh, Sister Lucy Truth. Dr. Peter Hernowski joins me every month as well. This particular podcast was entitled, Was There a Mafia Involved for the Removal of the Fake Sister Lucy? And we've got even more new evidences concerning the fake Sister Lucy. Why We, we, we specifically talked about why uh, the Remnant Peter, uh, and 1 Peter 5 and these other websites are going in the wrong direction they continue to go in the wrong direction uh we talked the latest apostasy news we talked about censorship but the main crux of it was uh was there indeed a mafia responsible for the removal of real sister lucy and many of you are now coming to the realization again i was the first uh, in the catholic world to come out and tell you that benedict the 16th was the true pope long before sochi long before father kramer long before louis Varecchio, long before ann barnhart i told you that the trend would be over time that many more people would come to that conclusion and this has already come 
to fruition. So we know Benedict XVI had a mafia, the right, the St. Gallian Mafia. Was there a mafia for the removal of the real sister Lucy? Also had on the program, Marshall Masters. We talk more about the space body that is approaching us. Call it whatever you want. Uh, this one was entitled, Why Are the Stars Disappearing? But there was so many different subtopics to this one. My goodness. Sinkholes popping up all over the place. The latest flooding and heat waves. More eerie sky trumpets. Fresh West Coast earthquake warning. Social upheaval for 2020. Earth fissures and cracks as found in Catholic prophecies. We got a new disturbance on the sun. What does it all mean? Near Earth asteroid hits are becoming more and more regular. That is not found in the mainstream media. We've got birds dropping from the sky in various locales and in mass quantities. Yet why have the listening uh, audience, why do the masses not uh, see these types of headlines? Does Trump know about this space body approaching? And will he disclose it? We're seeing the 10 plagues happening all over again. And Jesus forewarned a steam mystic Marie Julie Jehenny about the stars disappearing shortly before the worst of the worst would hit. We also had on the program ex-federal agent and whistleblower Tom C, who was also uh, a longtime follower of Trad Cat Knight, and we covered uh, a topic uh, just on December the 27th uh, within this past week entitled Christian Persecution and Evil on the Rise. Uh, this should be a no-brainer here, folks. Rising suicide rates, demonic TV shows, and entertainment uh, industry pushing the envelope, if you will. Demons of the air, fallen angels, UFOs. We also give some prepping tips for the month, as uh, Tom likes to do himself. Uh, importance of spiritual protection for these times. Catholic prophecy involving the strange sounds, and also Christian persecution. We cover the latest conciliar church news in this one, and uh, Tom does a fantastic a job out there on the East Coast, uh, the D.C. area. Also had on the show, it's been a long time since we've had Ben Davidson on from Suspicious Observers. His YouTube channel has like 400,000 subscribers, something ridiculous like that. And he covers all the latest space weather news. Uh, but this one is entitled Catholic Prophecies on the Signs of the Sun and Geomagnetic Jerk. Again, folks, um, the only website that's covering this type of news. You're not going to find this type of news on Catholic Family News or uh, any of these false right websites. Uh, it's very, very important for you to know so that not only you can get yourself prepared, as Jesus said in Luke 21, 36, because those who don't take the message seriously, quite frankly, and we have to be blunt about it, aren't going to make it through these times. And so when I'm always asked, Eric, why would I want to make it through these times as, uh, as uh, hideous as the days sound ahead of us? Why? Well, A, it's two parts of that. A, we should always be disposed to be doing God's will. No matter what it is, whether we die tonight or we, if God wants us to get through the storm, we have to have our hearts set on doing that. But two, to promote the glory of the cross on the other side of the storm when the rainbow hits. Who would not want to do that? Now, Ben Davidson on this particular podcast covered the latest space weather news. All the weird weather lately happening around the world. Fresh quake uh, concerns across the globe. 5G disaster cycles. Geomagnetic jerk. We've got crazy freak lightning storms killing all kinds of mass uh, mass amounts of uh, animals. Uh, not, not necessarily here in the United States, but in other locales. Uh, we talked about will the mainstream warn us of an extinction level major solar flare slash CME. Now, why is that important from a tr uh, Catholic perspective? Read Our Lady of Akita again. Read Our Lady of Good Success again. Read what uh, Blessed Sister Aiello has to say about this fire falling from the heavens. Apocalypse 8 7. Italian mystic Bruno uh, also talked about this fire falling from the heavens, which will not come from human hands. World War III is something completely different, folks. We also talked about underground cities. Are they real? Very interesting commentary from Ben Davidson on the topic. We talked about the latest on our magnetosphere. Uh, is there a Nova winter on the horizon? This recent talk of a red star. No, in this particular area, we're not talking about Planet X. It's something completely different. Uh, he gives his uh, commentary on that and how this could pertain to what we call or talk about as the warning. I'm not saying it is. I'm saying it's certainly a sign in the sky in the very least. But we're seeing all kinds of activity happening out in the space uh, that we need to be focused on. That scripture does indeed point to. We talk about Catholic prophecy scripture on signs on the sun and in the space latest strange sounds all and i give the actual prophecy from our lady to marie julie Jehenny on these spots of the sun and you're not going to want to hear 
Ben's five minute breakdown on that because that even shook him up a little bit. And again, I'm not, I don't come from, uh, come at it from a scientific point of view. And when I mentioned uh, these particular streaks that would occur shortly before the worst of the worst, uh, Ben got a little alarmed and you're not going to want to miss his uh, five minute explanation of what that means scientifically. Had Gary Wayne on the program uh, again. Love getting Gary on the program to talk some of the end times. This uh, particular podcast was entitled "Luciferian New Age and Aquarius," uh, "New Luciferian New Age of Aquarius and Rapture Tragedy." So, indeed, we talk about the New Age of Aquarius, what it all means. We talk about uh, Opus Day, Freemasonry, Gnosticism, the false light of Lucifer deceiving the masses. We talk about the biblical false prophet uh, and Antichrist. Demonic persecution coming, the third secret of Fatima, the New Age's day of declaration, is America a Masonic blueprint? We also talk about the false rapture coming, UFOs in particular, and alien technology. And last but not least, just had on Robert St. Genis um, uh, the other day. And this one was called Catholic with a K, Zionists. Because it's quite clear you can't be a Catholic and a Zionist. And those who are purporting otherwise are simply modernists they're not catholic and this uh, particular podcast was nearly an hour long and uh robertson Genesis and i both worked through what the church teaches infallibly on the matter you're not going to want to miss that podcast i can't say too many words here lest i get censored so i have to be careful what i say when we start talking about this area but in any case folks again i can't stress this enough get over to tran cat night dot org right now uh you get caught up on at least the last three weeks of podcasts and again with your subscription to uh, tradcatnight.org which you can cancel at any time by the way you'll have access to my podcast archive which goes back to like 2015 and i've had some of the top names both from the alternative side of things and mainstream side of things and uh Again, for those who have recently signed up, they are thoroughly uh, enjoying it. And again, they wish they hadn't had listened to, well, Eric is a fake and Eric doesn't want your money and Eric's a womanizer and all this stuff and all the noise that's out there and about. Uh, these people are just simply jealous. Uh, they're trying to steer people away from this website. It's not working. And for those who are uh, brave enough, uh, if you will, to ignore the noise and come over to the website, they are now learning quite readily more so than they ever had on any other supposed traditionalist website so get over to tradcatnight.org check the description box right now the direct link will be provided there all you have to do is click that link simply fill out the information stripe uh stripe is the payment processor it's faster safer and easier than even paypal and uh, again do join us folks we actually have quite a few priests uh even in recent times who have joined us uh, I've, I've noticed even a few rather big names from the Nova Sordo uh, kind of coming over and uh, having joined us as well. In any case, folks, we're going to conclude there. Hope you all had a very blessed Christmas Day. Hope you all have a very blessed New Year. Get over to tradcatnight.org. And until next time, stay safe and God bless.